what's the deal? It's your boy, Mr. Will. Okay, and you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio, son. Playing the best in local music. You are not supposed to make it. Band body, soul in the audio, underground railroad flow with the river. God's gone trouble, the spirit dancing and mind gone free. We still can't breathe everything we know of home. We've been forced to leave, travel light, ready to go instinctively. We are all still running like thieves in the night, following the North Star. We got away with our lives for every time we were told we would not survive, and then rose from the ashes to see new heights. Harriet Tubman, Phoenix, reborn with a mic, unconfined by time, shotgun at the side. We will rewrite tomorrow to defend black life These are lyrics for the days that happen after the fight Worth more than a favorite or a click or a like When they capture your body but you got freedom of mind If I mysteriously die, know that my spirit would fight If I die in custody, it was not a suicide If they kill me for my voice, know that my soul is alright If they take me in the morning, they'll come for you by night So be ready to fight If they take me in the morning, they'll come for you by night So be ready to fight Asada, the move nine, and anybody anywhere that had to serve hard time. I don't even care if you committed a crime. They can't justify how they dehumanize it. Torture our folks behind enemy lines. Media fills them with fear, so they believe these lies. Like it's rehabilitation and not a plantation. Take one trip north of Nola, have a look at Angola. It is pre Civil War South happening right now. It'll make you want to burn every prison to the ground. I owe it to my elders for the life I found. <laughs> Hidden in pages that they wrote on in cages and coded language that raised me up. Underground railroad, the starlight is us to break the walls. It all starts inside of you and don't stop till all of the bars are dust. If I mysteriously die, know that my spirit would fight. If I die in custody, it was not a suicide. If they kill me for my voice, know that my soul is alright. If they take me in the morning, they'll come for you by night. So be ready to fight. If they take me in the morning, they'll come for you by night. So be ready to fight. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Wilson Block 100 Radio. You know what I'm saying? If they come for me in the morning by your boy Gabriel Teodros, okay? And he just released his album recently, you know what I'm saying, on the Bandcamp. Big shout out Gabriel Teodros for dropping music on Bandcamp, okay? I think his music is like the soundtrack to Seattle, man. I mean, that's what I'm going to say about Gabriel Teodros, man. His music, there's definitely medicine in his music for sure, okay? Check it out, man. Welcome back to Wilson Block 100 Radio, okay? You tuned in to Mr. Wilson's podcast, and I'm going to give y'all the deal, okay? Check it out. Stephen A. Smith is making Kyrie Irving a hero, okay? Now, I'm saying this, and here's why I'm saying this, okay? Let me go on the record of saying that I'm just one of many fans of Stephen A. Smith, and I know people that can care less about Stephen A. Smith, don't really care for his rhetoric and his analysis, his, you know, analysis, you know what I'm saying, in the sports world or whatever, you know what I mean? Me, I can admit, yeah, man, he has an entertaining, uh, you know, presentation, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when when I was tuning in the first take, I came for Stephen A's opinion. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. You feel me? So uh, I just want to definitely give him his props. But, yo, man, I got to put this out there, man, because there's not enough. Uh, uh, there's not an I don't hear enough opposing argument as much as I hear you getting on Kyrie Irving's head. OK, now check this out. We understand that Stephen A. Smith got to his position by not only hard work and dedication, but because he will simply always side with the majority in order to protect his own interests and remain who he is. OK, one thing I've come to believe growing up in America is that in order to survive here, you have to be extremely passive aggressive. And that's the exact stance Stephen A. has taken against Kyrie Irving, okay? He's simply using the power of his influence to echo the sentiments of his bosses, okay? Stephen A. Smith seems to think that he can play both sides of the field, being a sellout while assuming he still has this street credibility that happens off the screen. It's slowly running out, my dude. 
I love his rhetoric, but him televising himself getting that vaccine shows that it doesn't take much for him to buckle under a little pressure. You know what I mean? And that was like really seriously the first red flag on Stephen A. Smith. OK, when he televised himself getting the vaccine. I'm telling you, man, COVID exposed people's true intelligence level out here, man. Y'all just don't know it, man, till it's too late. Watch. Stephen A being upset with Kyrie over not taking the thing is like him being mad at Kyrie for not jumping off a cliff like the government is expecting everyone to do. You know what I mean? If the government said, okay, everyone line up, jump off this cliff. If you don't jump off this cliff, you're harming the people that's about to jump off the cliff. You know what I mean? And then Stephen A's over here trying to rationalize, you know, over rationalize, you know, why it's stupid and selfish that he's not doing that. And, you know, we got to battle against this. You know, that's the, the beast is speaking. The dragon is speaking when you say things like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, and for the record, I was never a fan of Kyrie Irving. I mean, to me, he always seemed to be a prototype of the likes of Kobe Bryant. You know what I'm saying? I always felt like he tried too hard to be like other players. You know what I'm saying? But after him taking fines, okay, uh, uh, let me see, do, 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 do. But after him taking fines for not taking the yab, okay, has only made my respect for him grow, okay? Stephen A thinks it's perfectly fine to put all this pressure on one player over one city making a punk ass policy that puts everybody in jeopardy, okay? Look at the undertone and what it's doing to people's businesses in which they're not, you know, focusing on that part at all. They're glossing over it completely, you know? While still maintaining this image to the rest of America that, you know, we're doing, you know, everything is all for, you know, the preservation of people's businesses and local businesses and big business, whatever. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, city governance should not be able to mandate such a thing for it to be Kyrie's fault that he's careful on what he shoots into his own body. Come on, my dude. The more Kyrie rejects their plea, the bigger hero he becomes in my eyes. Someone of influence has got to stand up to this tyranny, okay? When politics intermingles with sports, there's no such thing as telling players to just focus on the game. Shout out Colin Kaepernick, okay? That's a remedial thing to do and a direct insult to people's intelligence, okay? I guess um, I'll be following Kyrie Irving from now on. Check in the comment section from all these videos talking about this situation. I see a lot of Knicks fans talking about they dodged a bullet by not signing Kyrie. But my response to that is we all know the Knicks were going to suck regardless of who they have or what year it is. OK, and for NYC to make such a mandate on everybody, it's clear that as far as basketball is concerned in New York, there are plans for representing utter failure for decades to come. OK, shut the fuck up. You're from New York City for crying out loud y'all should be contenders every year okay fuck out my face okay we ain't even gonna have a joke about how good y'all ought to be okay so you know i just want to say you know big shout out Kyrie irving you know what i'm saying thank you for standing up we applauding you you know what i'm saying and you know on my little itty bitty platform i'm putting it out there people probably not gonna hear it but we gonna let it be known because see y'all you, you just bow garden you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's no wonder why, you know, my whole life I felt like bullied. How, how did I grow up and become angry? OK, why is that? I was a cool kid. What's going on out here? OK, you get you, you know, you fucking off my peers. You know what I'm saying? You done fucked off my parents. You know what I'm saying? And you targeting the children today. I mean, yo, man, there's a real war going on out here and we ain't got time to be fighting amongst each other. OK, now we need to pay attention on what it is but it's your boy mr will that's the deal i want to thank y'all for tuning in we about to jump back into this local music so you know tune into the channel if you want local music with these hard topics man it is what it is man it's your boy mr will that's the deal man follow me on instagram and don't get it fucked up okay till next time i'm out I get the more I miss all those little things. It's the little things that make us who we are. Feel me? There was a time when nothing mattered but the wind in your face. Now we're trying to get back to that place. I'm going back to that place. There was 
a time when nothing mattered but the wind in your face Now we're trying to get back to that place I'm going back to that place Remember waking up every Saturday morning Wanting nothing more than to hear the Thundercats roar Turn the TV on, there it is, 10 o'clock on the dot Couldn't even leave the house till after Silverhawks rock Then out the door on the bike, pedal up and down the blocks Top at every friend spot, give the front door a knock Neighborhood wide, hide and seek, screw Monopoly Them lames playing board games, we're screaming Ollie Oxen free Tennis shoes were obsolete, ain't give a damn about them Had to stop every now and then to knock the stand out them See back then we chased the day, we didn't plan out them how we forget about them and who I am without them I'm paying homage to the days of living honest Living Hakuna Matata like Timon and Pumbaa Gotta find a way to get back to living life for the chase Gotta find a way back to living life in that place There was a time when nothing mattered but the wind in your face Now we're trying to get back to that place I'm going back to that place There was a time when nothing mattered but the wind in your face Now we're trying to get back to that place I'm going back to that place Couldn't wait to get up out of bed Now we hit the snooze for a bit more time to rest our head We're the walking dead, living just to sleep again It's just another week again, damn my bones are weakening Feel like an old man already 26 with two kids, a broke marriage to fix But still I hold steady, it's so heavy A weight that we bear, still I grip the memories Of not having a care of when I just wanted to swim Just wanted to play pretend, wanted to read my comments Just wanted to sit with friends of just pinning a rhyme Just to be pinning a rhyme, not for the sake of making a dime I'm not for the limelight Sometimes I miss that damn karaoke machine A place where all my dreams began And even though I'm closer to those dreams Sometimes it seems like all that I can see is black Still I know there was a time when nothing mattered But the wind in your face Now we're trying to get back to that place I'm going back to that place There was a time when nothing mattered But the wind in your face Now we're trying to get back to that place I'm going back to that place I'm going back to that place. Be more, let's go. You ever really wish we could go back then? Yeah. Well, we didn't have a care, just toys and friends. Yeah. To know about the struggle, we could always pretend. Yeah. I've been in the time machine, but why ain't the time we spend? Go. I really wish I could find my way back. Yeah. The old neighborhood, hopscotch and apple jacks. Yeah. Ran around with my twin, always in the sun. We had each other's backs, even when it came to blood. And when it came to G.I. Jones, you couldn't tell me nothing. I had the Ninja Turtle, that man, it was life I was loving. But now the times have changed, feels like we grew up quick. In a sense, was lost, so right now let's take a pick. So we can freeze time, go back to that exact moment. We live it once again with a free mind. Not to be stuck in the past, but remember the ride. Sometimes I like to go back, but know I'm still alive. There was a time when nothing mattered, but the wind in your face. Now we're trying to get back to that place. I'm going back to that place. There's a time when nothing matters but the wind in your face Now we're trying to get back to that place I'm going back to that place But it's a Seattle thing It's a Washington, Washington thing Puget Sound You know what it is man Look check this out I want to thank y'all for tuning in To Wilson Block 100 Radio Where we putting local artists on the highlight Okay And that's what it is always going to be about We committed to the local artists Because everybody be passing it up And there's never a place for local artists Of the next generation To get started Okay so We trying to build an institution for this thing and uh, holla at your boy, Mr. Will, because that's the deal, okay? Big shout out to all the local artists dropping music. Keep working hard. You know what I mean? If you're a local artist hearing this, holla at me. Let's get, you know, the formal artist introduction, exclusive interview. Let's get you on the platform, man. It's your boy, Mr. Will. That's the deal. And until next time, I'm out.